Kligerman still with the advantage. Coming up on the final lap. Oh, no. Way deep into the tire barrier. The 42. That's Leland Honeyman. And he is stuck completely underneath that tire barrier. Get to the white. Get to the white. White flag in the air. One more time around. The next flag. And the caution comes out. Did he get to the white flag before the caution came out? This could be the biggest win of Parker Kligerman's life. Before the caution came out, it looks as though the white was in the air. He crossed the start-finish line. And that would mean Parker Kligerman wins his first Xfinity Series race. Well, he's got to get back to the line. And we've seen strange things happen in this sport. So let's get him back to the line first. But if indeed he wins this race, I'm going to tell you something. That was a drive of his life. He had Sam Mayer behind him with a faster race car, and he never made a mistake. He did everything right under a tremendous amount of pressure with a guy that had to win. They both had to win to make the next round of the playoffs, and that was an impressive drive. And we did receive the white. And they're saying that the white, the caution came out prior to the white flag being displayed before he got to the start-finish line. Well, here's the, the white flag. here's the flag, but the caution lights, it's not the flag, man, it's the right. caution lights. So that's really it. I mean, from that angle right there, it looked like it was clearly to the white. We're going to have to find a better picture of it. Timing-wise, did he cross the start-finish line before the caution light came out? And we're showing overtime right now because we're hearing from NASCAR that he didn't get to the start-finish line before the caution right, came out. So that's the rule. The rule is literally the ins Okay, so let's see. 48. You see the white flag. You see the 48. I don't see a caution light. A caution light. Still no caution lights. He's clearly over the line. Caution lights come on. Now it on. came on, yeah. We back it up. A couple frames. There's one right here. Look at this one right here. There's a caution light right there. We roll it forward frame by frame. Oh, it's right at the line. So there is even, this is going to sound crazy, there is a delay between hitting the button and the lights come on. It's in the hundreds of a second. Yeah. But this comes down to electronics for NASCAR. They know by a timestamp when the yellow came out, and they know by timestamp when he crossed the start-finish line. We've seen how many races this year by thousands of a second. Yeah. By the illumination of the yellow and the start-finish line is kind of blurry, it's very, very close. NASCAR is saying, per their equipment, that we're going to go to overtime. What an emotional roller coaster oh if you're goodness. a Parker right now. There, yes, a major. Here you go. Here's the, at the time of caution. So they're claiming this is the absolute time stamp of the yellow. That is a screenshot of where the 48 is. It doesn't look that close in live. But remember, right. there is a delay to the yellow lights. So it's all electronic now. We got to get this fixed. I'm sorry. Yeah. As a fan, yeah. right, I should see a light and say that's it. They right. should not have to go back and say, well, wait a minute, there's a time stamp. We, I mean, it needs to make sense, and it needs to be simple to observe. Like I'm not clock. saying it's wrong. I'm with you, though. It's I'm like the saying, shot clock. That's exactly I want right. to see the backboard you know, light up red, and you know it's either touching the 